I'm gonna say the Jamaican because that's what she does. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have Jamila in your life no more. If it wasn't for me, on wouldn't be together no more, okay? If it wasn't for me, I wouldn't have nothing together again. So, bitch, please, you're not dating this man. I am. He ain't gonna, he don't have to buy you shit. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's Jamala from Jamala.com and today is going to be a story time video. <laughs> Y'all, I haven't done a story time video on this channel for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> but today, forgive me, I don't have lashes on so I might look a little bit weird with this freaking makeup on because y'all, that's how you know you got to stack up a freaking lash glue because the lash glue that I have is just not it, okay? So I'm wearing natural lashes for today's video, okay? <laughs> But today's video is going to be, yes you guys, seen it on the title, okay? My best friend tried to steal my sugar daddy. Let me just take a drink because I need a drink of this right real quick. I haven't ate nothing all day, so yeah. Let me know if y'all like this naked brand. I love it. Let's go to this damn story time. Listen, this is going to be a long ass story time because it's a long ass story. Okay, I did not want to tell this story for a long time, and many times I wanted to tell it, but y'all, this is personal. And this was a friend of mine, like, we knew each other since 12, since 7th grade, and this girl turned out to be a jealous broad. I don't hate this girl, don't get it wrong, even though she did what she did to me, I don't hate her, I don't have no harsh feelings towards her, it is what it is. <laughs> Let me tell you something about certain girls, okay? If you have to try hard, meaning have a new outfit every day, get a new air hairstyle every, every week, get your nails done every week, you want to feel extra. If you don't wear the same clothes, not even once, then it's a self-esteem issue. You got problems. You don't think yourself is pretty. And me, little old me, I wear the same clothes all the time, y'all. Because I don't got time. I don't got that money to spend and brand new clothes. Don't get me wrong. I got a lot of clothes. And look, I don't wear them. Now they're going to trash. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do my hair every week. I just put on this lace and call it a day. <laughs> my nails tech is a so sick and tired of me because if these nails don't lift and break, she see me at least every two to three months. I don't spend money on myself like everybody think. And when people look at me, they judge me because they see the way I look like I wear makeup sometimes I carry myself nice you know when I go out and about but I'm not that girl that hate on other chicks if I see you and you look cute I'm gonna let you know I might stare at you but I'm gonna stare at you for long because I don't want you to think I have a problem with you so I'm gonna say hey how you doing I love that pants I love that shirt I think you look so pretty today so this story time hit like hard y'all um let's get let's get into it Let's get into it. So I was, I met this girl when I was 12. I was in 7th grade. I went to high school 226 at the time in Queens, New York. The school is on Rockaway Boulevard, Ozone Park, Queens. What's up? <laughs> we met because, you know, I'm Jamaican. She was Jamaican. Um, and we just clicked. We clicked. So we became friends. And then she met, that's how I met my other best friend named John at the time but that's another story time never date your best friends okay never date your best friends we met we hit it off and our relationship we i met her mom she met my mom she was always over my house it was like it was like close enough to say we were family okay we grew up went to different high schools she went to august martin high school and i went to john adams high school in queens new york let's fast forward y'all at this time my mom lived in connecticut nothing was going on for me in connecticut and i wanted to finish college and college was so expensive in connecticut so my aunt was talking to my mom and told her that yo bring her down here to florida and let her stay here for six months and then she could start college and they give you free loans and everything just to be a resident in Florida. That's what I heard. Okay, that's what she told my mother. The story she told my mother and my mother believed it. And I went to Florida. I didn't stay there long enough for that situation to happen. So I went to stay with my aunt in Orlando. And, and meanwhile, when I lived in Miami, I had a boyfriend and when i moved out of miami and went to orlando to stay with my aunt i was coming out of that relationship and it was so toxic things happened and i was so stressed and then i called my friend from connecticut 
that I had at the time and I told her to get me try to find me a ticket because I didn't know nothing about the computer computer back then I was still learning I didn't know how to and this was in like probably 2005 y'all I was still learning the computer I didn't know internet like how I know it now and how to do things on my own she got a flight for me and she wanted me to stay with her in Connecticut but I really did not want to go back to Connecticut because really there was nothing going on for me there and I just I was so bored in Connecticut and my friend she was like why don't you come to New York with me and I really did not want to stay with her either because me and her even though we had such a long relationship our relationship was kind of we always had little like bumps in the roads in our relationship and sometimes we will stop talking to each other period and then people will just bring us back together or what the case may be. I talked to my mom and my mom was like just come home and I was like okay so, but I wanted to spend a week with my friend. Meanwhile my best friend this girl I'm gonna give her a name I'm gonna say her name is let's see Alisa right. Alisa was talking to my mother meanwhile in the background trying to have me not go home with my mom. She wanted me to live with her in New York so we could get an apartment together because she was apartment hunting and in New York y'all the rent is sky high for a two-bedroom you're gonna be spending spending like three thousand probably to four thousand I don't know this is crazy so you know she was doing all that and then my mom was like you know what why don't you just stay there for like two weeks try to get a job and see how it runs I'm like me how could I get a job in New York for two weeks some people been here their whole life and still can't get a job so I went to visit her at the job her job and then I was just walking around and I saw people like going for interviews and stuff at this place called WFS and that's how I got my job real quick easy at her job they like book certain events and stuff like that like parties and stuff like birthday bashes inside the airport so not the airport but inside like like around that airport area so it's kind of a part of the airport it's like building 151 is like the main building for customs and all that so yes the airport JFK is like totally different from the airport down here in Atlanta because they ain't have none of that but anyhow way <laughs> it was like a runway thing fashion show and there is the guy who is running this whole thing and his name I'm gonna say his name is Mikey right Mikey okay saw me and he knew my friend for some whole way and by the way at this event I saw people from my old school from John Adams High I saw people from all over like people that I haven't seen in a minute so I was just like hold on like this is crazy anyways Mikey saw me and he saw me from across the room and he wanted my best friend to come and get me to introduce me to him listen and this is what I'm talking about I don't buy new shit I don't do that I just go how I look and I don't have to try like your personality says it all like I have a silly personality in person like I like to make jokes and if I'm gonna be with somebody I need somebody to match my personality because I'm silly a lot of guys that I've dated in the past they don't know how to handle it they're like why you act like that like they think all black girls should act a certain way ghetto ratchet whatever but I'm not like that I'm just like silly I have a different tone of voice like I'm just you know me so and that's the only way you could be he liked what he saw and then we exchanged numbers he was an older ass guy y'all this guy was probably I'm, I was in my 20s so this guy was probably like <laughs> like 50 I'm gonna say late 40s hitting his 50s and this was the oldest guy I've ever gave my number to from there he had all these fashion shows in the Bronx in Long Island, in Queens, in Brooklyn, everywhere. So this is where he introduced me to fashion designers and then they wanted me to model for their show. And I'm telling you, I had to like walk out of some of these shows because the stuff that they wanted me to put on, like I was just not my, I didn't, like people love my body, but I, when I look at myself, I'm like, Ugh, I don't think I, I could, you know, I could rock that. I did a couple of shows and make a couple of money and met a lot of people, new friends, or whatever. 
um, she was too short to be in the shows. It wasn't his call to have certain models in the show, it was the designer's call to have all these models in the show. Like, they pick who they want. You know, I knew that, but she never said that out loud. So she would just come to the shows to support. She would be backstage with me, you know, helping me with my clothes or whatever. But I thought this girl was just being supportive because we know each other. Not once did I ever think that this girl was jealous of me because she's my friend. Like, we knew each other since 12. We've been through a lot. We've been through a lot of arguments, breakups, but we always come back together. But this one was the final straw for us, really. So, me and Mikey became really cool. Like, you know, he will help me with certain things and I never asked for it. And the reason why I call him my sugar daddy because I was never in a relationship with him he had a girlfriend like I was dating another guy while he was ch trying to get with me and I will be talking to the guy that I'm dating at the time and he will be right there you know so I just don't know it was a kind of a weird situation and I never wanted to be with him I never wanted anything from him than just friendship but he just wanted to do everything for me and he will force things on me like he wanted to buy groceries for me, he wanted to pick me up from work, he wanted to make sure my bills are paid, he wanted to do a lot of things for me. And then my friend saw this, let's fast forward y'all because that's let's get to the juicy part of this damn story. But I'm trying to tell this story so you guys could understand and not get lost. I decided to get my own place because my friend was taking forever to get an apartment and then her family was kind of getting annoyed because I didn't have a key into her house so I have to knock the door sometimes I'm locked out it's kind of embarrassment because I'm not used to living like this I'm used to always having a house having a key in my hand so for me to be knocking on somebody's door and then the, the, the whole situation how she handled me living with her was just a stupid ass situation because how could you have somebody live with you give a portion of my check to your family because I'm living with you and you never gave me a key to get it it's like I would never do that to you and I think I brought that up to her because we were like really like close my mom knew her mom they had conversations you know like anytime they see each other they say what's up so it's like it's not a, a, a relationship that we don't know each other and each other's family, if you get me. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So I decided to move from Linden Boulevard where she lived and got my own place because I felt like I was being treated badly there. And y'all, I'm not going to get into that, but not her father because her father was always nice to me. But her mother, I don't know what was going on with her, but I'm just like... This woman, I look at her like my second mother. You know, I look at her like a grown woman. I respect her a lot. And I just felt unwanted there after a while. And I wasn't trying to stay there. Like my friend was forcing me to stay there so she could get an apartment. And she wasn't making no moves, but I couldn't stay there any longer. I needed my own space. I needed to my own keys in my hand. And, you know, and thank God I had another best friend that I'm still friends with up to this day. They didn't even like each other, but now I know why God put people in your life. Because sometimes God put new people in your life because the old people are expired. Not everybody's going to be in your life forever, you know? You learn certain things and then you move on. So, let's fast forward. One day, it was so bad that I came home and I was knocking at the door and she came out and she opened the door so bad and started yelling at me like how long do I have to deal with this how long how long like it brought so much tears to my eye I broke down because I never lived like that before and this is why it's so important for me to have my own space my own apartment my own home because I just don't like staying with people and have people treat you a certain way yeah her mom was just like yelling at me so I just like stayed in the hallway and I called my mother and I broke down and my mom heard because she, she was still talking in the background and my mom kind of heard that and my mom was like you're freaking stronger than you think you know I didn't raise no fool you need to get up you have money in the bank go and get a newspaper look for a place in your budget or you could come home I was just like you know what Cause I have a job I didn't want to leave my job so and I found a place on Merrick I think it was Merrick Springfield no not Springfield is it Rosedale uh, yeah Rosedale Queens off of Merrick 
The day that I told her that I was leaving, y'all, is the day that I was moving. Like, that's how bad. It was, like, no communication. I would come home. It, I felt so bad because there was no communication. I couldn't talk to her because every time I would come home to her place, like, I could feel the energy changing. Like, you know when somebody's talking about you and they just change their energy? Like, they're just quiet. All of a sudden, they're talking and they're not when you walk through the door. That's how I felt. So the day that I was moving, my mom was coming all the way from Connecticut to help me move my stuff into my apartment. And my mom was downstairs, and then I sat her down, my friend, and I told her, listen, I wasn't going to tell you. Thank you so much for having me here, but I'm going to be moving out. <laughs> Because the way that they treat me, and that was my best friend, I would think she would have my back. And I know it's her mother, but man, she made me feel a certain way. Like, I wasn't wanted there. But anyways, I was like, my mom is downstairs. She's going to come up and help me, you know, with my bags. Da -da -da. She had nothing to say. They were just shocked, okay? Time passed, y'all. Why am I talking about... I'm getting y'all the whole damn story. Like, the whole jigga bang, yo. I'm, like, so nervous to talk about this. Even though it's years, but it's still, like, so crazy. <laughs> but anyway, time went by, and then I was still having that sugar daddy. So he was always there, trying to be there. You know, I don't know why. One day, out of the blues, he called me, and he was like, he wants to speak to me. Um, but he doesn't know how to, to bring this up. And I was like, what? What's going on? He was like, oh, it's about your friend, you know, Alicia. And I was like, oh, okay, what about her? So I was like, okay, what about her? And he was like, um, I just want to tell you, you know, you know, calm down. But she called me one night to come have her pick her up from work. And I was like, what? How? What? She called you to have her pick her up from work? Okay. But this story wasn't new to me because she did this to another story that I'm going to tell you about. So I was like, okay. And then, you know, he was like, okay. He went to pick her up. And the whole ride, she was talking about me and how. Why am I treating you like a queen? Why am I doing everything for you? Why am I in your life and I treat you like nothing? Like I have someone that I'm dealing with. She was just dogging me out and then she was like I treat you with all respect I do everything for you but yet you don't give me the time of day like she was dogging me out and trying to get with my sugar daddy y'all I was like wow somebody that I knew since 12 years old but I kind of believed a part of it because she did that to the boyfriend that I had she was coming home from work one time and then she saw him on I think it was one 40, 131st Street um, where the bus stop was because that's where she takes the bus on um, off of Rockaway 131st Street so I was like okay so she was like guess who I saw guess who I saw and I was like who I'm gonna call him a she was like a and I was like who who's a and then she was like come downstairs he's downstairs and then I was like, okay, so I went downstairs and I saw this white nice car or whatever. And then I looked inside and it was, was this guy that I used to know in 226. We started dating again. Christmas came around and he got me a gift. And Christmas was like probably a month away. And I was like, wow, this is really early in a relationship that he chose to give me like this expensive perfume that he brought me. And she saw it and she was like, what? And she called him and she in front of me like, I think she lost her mind. She was like, first of all, why are you giving Jamela gifts on Christmas if it wasn't for me? That's what she's, I'm going to say it in Jamaican. Because that's what she does. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have Jamela in your life no more. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be together no more, okay? If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't have nothing together again. So why you buy Jamela a gift and you're not buying me a gift? If you're going to buy Jamela an expensive perfume like this, you're going to buy me an expensive perfume like this. Bitch, please. You're not dating this man. I am. He ain't gonna, he don't have to buy you shit. That guy was just like, could you put my girl back on the phone? Like, you are not my girl. And then one day he called me. He was like, babe, I need to talk to you. Out of the blues one day. And I was like, what? It's about your friend, Alicia. She needs to stop calling me to have her pick her up from work. Every time she called me, asked me to pick her up from work. And I'm like, no, I'm not your man. And then she's always talking about you that's not your friend like you need to leave her alone but in my head you know he's telling me all of this but i'm like 
wait a minute we know each other since 12 this is not you know I can't just cut a relationship like that off so I approached her about it and then you know of course fake ass bitches they don't want to be real they just want to be like oh of course I called him yeah I called him for a ride or whatever but I didn't say all of this when bitches are saying they lying or stuff like that I like to put them on blast I like to put him on the phone with her and they're going back and forth like she's lying and he's just like Alisa stop lying I was like whatever I'm not gonna entertain this because I still live with her at the time but when this situation with my sugar daddy happened I was like no this girl is trying to take like stuff away from me <laughs> First of all, I don't even care if she took him or not because honestly, the sugar daddy, nothing was never going to happen between us. I had my own boyfriend. I was talking to somebody at the time and he had a whole full relationship. So, my best friend tried to play me, tried to take my boyfriend, and then she tried to take my sugar daddy. I don't know how this person even sleep at night. I don't know how she is today. It's been years since we've seen each other. I think more than probably 10 years since we've seen each other um but yeah a lot have changed into my life like who I had as friends before are not friends with me today only person that I can say that I'm still friends with is my best friend Natasha and Alisa did not like Natasha because now I know why because Alisa was a fake ass bitch and she just did not want me to be around any real ass bitches it's just so crazy y'all that y'all just have to open your eyes um, and always watch your friends because not everybody is out there to have your back y'all just know that yes my best friend try to steal my man and my sugar daddy okay and I'm here I'm still alive <laughs> if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and remember to click that bell button to keep up with me with my uploads because YouTube is crazy I'm trying to get this channel back on track y'all I know it's been a rocky road but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And if you want to check out my website, jamella.com, for new sunglasses, the link will be also below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.